in a life or death situation, you know, sushi is sushi. We gotta, we gotta change these salmonids around. We gotta have a tier for D, D delicious. <laughs> let's let's have one for. Um, I'll die if I eat that. <laughs> Which is separate from from a uh, gross ew no way. Tastes tastes good. Would eat not happily. There should be an it'll eat me tier. <laughs> I think that's I think that's separate from the other one. So yeah, let's have a let's have a um it will eat me. Obviously, we gotta take a couple of salmon. It's very clearly. Moz! It will eat me. I don't, I don't think I'm eating that. I do not think I'm eating that. Let's be let's be real. Let's be real. Moz, eating me. I die. Steal you? I die. <laughs> Mud mouth? I mean, you could eat it. But I'll die if I eat that. <laughs> Moz is the food that bites back. <laughs> it's the snack that smiles back. Goldfish! Let's look at some normal guys now. The... The Chinook? I mean, the box isn't edible, but we could also use that box for storage. So we could eat him later. I think... I think he'd taste good. I think... I think the Chinook would taste good. Now, our boy Kozuna. I would like to eat that, but... I would dare say... That I think he's eating me first before I even get to try. <laughs> you know, the thing is, Kozuna could also go in the I die if I eat that. Because if I try to eat the Kozuna in one go, I'm dead. I die because it's so big. The griller. Dude, literally, literally just grilled salmon. Delish. I have salmon all the time. Fantastic. Fantastic. Love that. It'll spawn salmon if you eat it. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we gotta we gotta eat we eat the griller and then we just throw out all the mechanical bits and we're we're, we're probably we're probably good, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Got the small fry. I'd eat him. I wouldn't be happy about it. <laughs> now I don't really have any kind of like relative friendship with the chums. This is just free salmon. Yeah, I bet he tastes good. I bet he tastes. I bet he tastes good. I feel like it'd be difficult though, because he'd probably be whacking me with that with that pan. I'd have to get the jump on him. All right. I mean, Kohawk, same thing. Uh, I don't think I would eat it very happily though, because let, let, let's 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 be real. Let's be real. Kohawk, not not something you're eating in one in one sweep. That's that's gonna last a while. Probably gonna go bad before you eat the whole thing. Probably gonna be kind of rancid in your home. I think I would eat it, but not not very not very happy. Not very happily. You cannot tell me. That a goldie is not of the finest fish. Unless it's literally made out of gold. You know, if the goldie's made out of literal gold, I'll die if I eat that. If the goldie is delicious, then it's delicious. You don't know where the scrapper's been. You don't know where that guy's been. I know, he's got a little box keeping him safe in the outside world. But you don't know where that scrapper's been driving through. What kind of roads he was walking on. What lonely road he walked alone. Before he showed up at my doorstep to become a snack. I know, I know, salmonids are very honored by eating them, but I don't think I'd be able to stoop to the level of eating a scrapper. All right, other hand, we have the drizzler. You know, okay, okay, so hear me out about the drizzler. I'll eat him. Not very happily. Drizzler's going all the way up in the sky and coming on down. Do you know how many toxins we have sitting around in our atmosphere? Quite a few. If that drizzler ran around through some honking smog before coming on down, I don't think he's really the healthiest for us to eat. Like, he's edible. You know, you, you could use the umbrella as like a soup bowl. But then you'd be having a smog soup. Kind of, kind of gross. Yeah, who knows where that umbrella has been? You're very right about that, honestly, Menace. Like, if that umbrella's rusty and we're cooking it right there, uh, not gonna be, not gonna be the greatest. Okay, we got the meeps. The meeps require a lot of assembly, I would argue. But I bet they'd be delicious! It's just, it, they're single serving! They're salmon nuggets! <laughs> Blue says use the stick! 
As a giant toothpick. Ayo! <laughs> Yo, let's go! That's eight small fries. Now listen, if if they don't have the spoon, I don't need to know, okay? Okay, um, uh, I, I, I take my spoon, I like throw it out the window. It's not here anymore. Shh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. There, there, don't, don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. If I can't see the the resemblance, the little buddy, it will be all okay. It'll be all okay. I'm, this is my this is my copium, by the way. It'll be, it's gonna be all okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, um, steelhead? Um... I hate to say it, but that's a lot of armor to be chewing through. Who knows how explosive that man is under the hood? I think I die if I eat that. I think I try to bite into the steelhead and we find out that he's just ready to blow up no matter what. <laughs> I think that I I think that I die. We got the slamming lid. I'll be real. I want I want to eat the slamming lid. He's just he's just a nice serving of salmon, but. Do you think that we'd be able to reach him without dying first? Does it count as getting eaten if you get crushed by the UFO? Like, I mean, obviously you die if you if you eat the saucer. But can I use the UFO, flip it over, and use it as a big old plate? Right? Koi's presentation is part of the meal. He has a barrier. Okay, I put my hand under the barrier. That's so I trick him into coming on down. And I give him an old whack him spack him with my spoon. Do you forget I have this? I thought you forgot I had this. And then we just um we just uh just kinda just take take him off of the UFO, flip it around, set the height set the heat on to a nice like a nice broil, chuck the salmon in back in, and just like that, we've got a delicious meal. Sounds like a brutal crime at this point. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh it tastes good. <laughs> Flipper flopper. You know, at first glance, you would think, oh man, that probably is that probably is delicious. You know, people around the world are committing crimes. They get horrible things like shark fin soup all the time. But the problem with the flipper flopper is you don't know where he's been. That man is jumping from puddle to puddle, from map to map, picking up all kinds of garbage. The thing has a honking gas mask on it, like Cody Crew says. He's gross. I could I could eat it if I wanted to, but mm, do I really want to is the question. And I'm thinking that, that ends poorly for us. Delusional says extra carbs from the garbage. <laughs> nice. Guys, guys, big shot. Edible? Technically speaking, he's got a big bowling ball, but that can be that can be dealt with. We can even use that to our advantage. We can use that to wrap it on his head. And bada bing bada boom. Free snack. The salmon it being our snack. Not the bowling ball. Don't eat the bowling ball. If you eat the bowling ball, it jumps from it jumps from a good tier to I'll die if I eat that. He's a big boy. True, true. Like, but he's as big as the- he's bigger than the Kohawk. The thing about this guy versus Kohawks is that he's non-violent. All he does is drop his funny little ball and disappear into the ocean. Kohawk, violent. Tries to hit you when you try to cook him. The- this guy? Big shot? He doesn't do anything. He just- he'll probably just take it, so... Are we eating the metal parts? No. We'll, we'll leave- we'll leave those behind. We can take a stab. We can take a stab at eating the big shot. I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to chomp through uh, this guy here. You know, all of our all of our small fry themed bosses have ended up in different places. But I think if I try to eat that, I think I die. Also, Broski has been sitting in a lot of rusty metal. Do you know what kind of diseases he might just have, just waiting to be consumed if we try to eat him? Uh, even if I, even if I can crack open his fly fish shell like a tasty, tasty egg, you just, you just, and you, just, you know, you get the, you get the small fry, and you, just, you have him right there. I, I don't feel like it's really gonna be as delicious as a plain small fry, or even more the fish stick. I think he goes in the I'll die if I eat that category. And now we have a stinger. There's a fish on top. You require a lot of climbing to get in there. Now to the stack of unclean dishes. <laughs> He's just a bunch of pots and pans. I mean, I mean, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Definitely is edible. 
do you get to live to the next day when you eat the stinger? Mm, no, I don't think so. I, I think that you, I think he's your last resort meal. Like of all the things that are in the I'll die if I eat that category, I think the stinger is the one you might be able to get away with eating and not die. You'll still go to the hospital, mind you, mind you. But this guy blows up, this guy blows up. This guy is literally made out of garbage. The stinger at least, you have some chance at surviving, okay? Shorty says, I think this guy would be nice to eat, but you'd probably die soon after. Yeah, it depends on the pans are clean. What if we go home, we give the pans a nice scrub, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we, we Lysol it up a little bit, and then we let it dry because you can't actually eat Lysol. It's a good way to die, actually. Don't do that. Um, you know, and, and then we just wash it off again, and we just, you know, we go back for it then, you know? It might be edible. Might, might be edible. Either way, I think that we've created a wonderful tier list, and, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Just throw out the stinger and keep the pan set. True! Saves one trip to Home Depot. Not Home Depot, to Home Goods! I'm, I'm, I'm leaving now. I already, I, I already messed up the joke. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bye.